What's up everyone? My name is Nick. I'm Leo. And you're, you're watching, watching Global Given. Today we're in the beautiful city of Kuching and we're strolling around India Street, Gambir Street. We're checking out waterfront and we might even go on the bridge across the Sarawak River. <laughs> So right here we are at India Street. This is one of the most popular streets in the city of Kuching and it's been here for a very long time. They sell a lot of textiles here, a bunch of goldsmiths, you can buy cameras here and stuff like that. Check it out. So we're walking on India Street here and it's a bit quiet today because it's a public holiday. So a lot of the shops are closed and again it's still COVID-19 times. We're gonna go check out the Kaiju Lane now, which is where they make the best kue or cookies and pastry and all of the A few years ago, there were some artists here in Kuching and they started beautifying these empty walls throughout the city. There is a lot of murals, which you could have seen in my previous video as well, which I think is beautiful as an extra cultural feature here in the city. Hey guys, for me, this is the best super top. Let's have it in town. So this is a really cool alley which goes from India Street to Gambir Street which is near the waterfront. And right here in the middle of this alley is the old Indian Muslim mosque. It's very hidden, so you can only access it by this little, little back alley. So as we walk through this little alley, we'll end up at Gambir Street. Gambir Street is named after this local shrub, which is used to numb skin. So if you have toothache, you can put some of that stuff on and it will numb your, numb your pain. There we go, this is Gambir Street. Alright, so that was Gambir Street. Unfortunately, everything is closed, so we couldn't get any nice shots of the spices. There's usually a lot of spices on these piles and all these different colors. It looks beautiful. Now, we've just crossed the street, and over here, they've just built this massive moss right on the water, which looks pretty cool. It's not accessible because it's COVID 19 times, but uh, check out this beautiful moss. All right, Emilio, yeah. what made you go on this day of exploring Kuching City with me? To discover new stuff, discover a new place. Even though you know it's there, but because it's our place, we always take it for granted. Time for that seal cow. Mm. That is good. Very dry. Yeah. But the moist in the middle, it's got some pork inside, I believe. And it's just so much flavor. It's delicious. Mm. It's a bit messy though. <laughs> Alright, we are now at the waterfront which runs along the Sarawak River and this is an esplanade and this is usually the place to hang out in the city on the weekends. Um, on the other side is the massive 
student building, which is the state assembly building. And we're gonna cross to the other side, cross over to the other side, over the Darul Hana bridge, which they recently built, maybe two, three years ago. And it's, a, it's an architectural beauty. We're now walking up the Darul Hana Bridge and you can see I'm squinting my eyes because it's quite sunny out here. I just wanted to say a big thanks to all my supporters, everyone that subscribed to my videos. Uh, I appreciate all your support and uh, let's keep it going. So right here, we're on the waterfront. And this is the Square Tower, which was built in 1879. Um, this used to be a prison and also a fort during the Brook time. So all the bad guys were thrown here in this jail. So this is the end of the video. We hope you liked this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you had a good time watching this, leave that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, click that subscribe button and ring that bell. And uh, yeah, we had fun, right? Yeah. All like. right, subscribe. That's it. See you next week. Bye-bye.